What is going on guys, just Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we completed the community cleanup special request for Linus. We have some mail over here, we actually read this last episode, uh, at the end of last episode, so I guess we'll read it real quick. Uh, at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> but last episode, we also made a cobblestone path on, uh, on my farm from the farmhouse all the way down to the southern farm entrance where Mari's ranch goes. And then we also completed the uh, the fall foraging bundle. We got 30 fall foraging seeds from that, so we're going to be able to plant those here in just a bit. And we got mayo from the mayonnaise machine over there and hot pepper from the uh, hot pepper jelly from the preserves machine that's over here. So yeah, definitely want to sell those. I got comments saying, yeah, you're supposed to actually just sell that, not just like keep it and stuff like that, right? So I guess we'll sell it. Maybe go give it to uh, Pierre or something like that today, right? Right. But either way, we got a thing in the mail right there. Waffle, I heard you've been giving some people a hand around town. Everyone's been really thankful. I'm rewarding you with this month's best, or awarding you with this month's best neighbor award with a small cash prize. Keep it up, Mayor. And we got 500 gold right there. Nice, good money, free money. I always like that. <laughs> Hi Waffle, thanks for helping me clean up around the valley. The waters are looking much cleaner. I think everyone will appreciate it. I know I will. As a way of saying thanks, I wanted to teach you how to grow your own fiber. I hope it's useful, Linus. And he gave us fiber, fiber seeds recipe right there, so that's good. If I want to get a bunch of fiber without, you know, cutting down a bunch of tall grass and stuff like that, I'll talk about that here in just a bit. And then we've got this from Emily. Hey, how are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I sent you. Well, goodbye. And there's a little skateboard guy with glasses smirking there. She gave us a sea urchin there randomly. So that's good. We got another thing in the mail. What is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got another thing from Linus right there. Yeah, he's telling us it's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to go pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Let's accept the quest. I got a comment from someone saying that the basket is like right over here or something like that. So I guess we'll go over there and check. I'm like, if it is over there, that's great. Uh, it might be in a different spot because I started the game, uh, started the day over. It's a different day right now compared to the last episode. I think in the last episode, right? But either way, uh, I guess we can sell the alb albacore because we don't need that for the... Uh, for the for the community center right and we didn't need it for uh willie's mission there which kind of sucks wait what oh yeah iron bar yeah we need that for the for the mission though bullhead we do need that for the community center so let's definitely keep that red mushroom don't need that so we could put that up and then albacore sea cucumber i guess we could sell that i don't know if we, what we could use that for definitely not the community center though but do not want to put that up in there sea cucumber put that up albacore put that up sea urchin yep put that up we sold tons of those so i'm not really uh concerned about that and we have a couple of uh, iron actually or just one iron we could smelt right now. Boom. All right, nice. And then uh, I also got comments of you guys saying, yeah, you definitely want to make another mayonnaise machine, another preserves jar. That way we're actually able to, uh, you know, get more jelly jam, whatever else, <laughs> as well as more mayonnaise a lot quicker. So definitely want to try and do that, you guys, as well as uh, let's put all this up. Bullhead. Let's keep that in our inventory. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I was talking about the tall grass just a second ago. Uh, you guys said, hey, don't don't cut down all the tall grass in your farm or else you'll run out. Do I want to keep this one silver star egg? I don't know. I might. There you go. Uh, but you don't want to cut down all the tall grass in your farm or else you'll run out and there's nothing for the chickens to eat, right? So definitely don't want to do that just yet. Uh, oh, I forgot to put the iron up. Uh, but uh, speaking of iron, I do want to actually use this iron to craft the tree. What's it called? The tree tapper? Uh, where is that on this? There it is, right there. or just the tapper. Oh, wait, no, it's just copper on that one. Uh, oh, yeah, that's why we have that. <laughs> then we have a little bit of wood, which I actually put up right there. Oops. So we can use that, and then we can get a at least one tapper. We can get that started, right? Boom, there it is. Awesome. Uh, how do we get the upgrade sprinkler, though? Oh, yeah, that must have been what I was thinking of right there. So we need a gold bar still. I think we have gold bar, and then refined quartz. Uh, we do not have a gold bar, but we do have just one gold short of getting a gold bar. So that's pretty close right there. And then quartz, I guess we could smelt that. We have a little bit of coal right there. I guess we could do that. Just kind of get some refined quartz. I even got comments of you guys saying I can get refined quartz from recycling, like, what was it, CDs or something like that, too? Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. We got the, speaking of such, we got the recycling machine last episode. Yeah. Oh, do I want to make that, though? Oh, I just spent, like, I just need to get two more wood and then I'm good to go. And 25 stone. We could easily do that. Do I have 25 stone right now? I kind of want to get that recycling machine. Maybe we'll put that outside as well. Where is that? Uh, what am I looking at right now? Uh, 25 wood and then stone. Yeah, I don't see any stone right there or rocks or whatever. So, yeah, I guess we we'll have to go get some manually here in just a bit. But I do want to plant down all the foraging seeds over here as well as continue tilling the land. There you go. Get a strong till going there. Then, uh, whoops. There you go. And then let's do the same thing on this side. There we go. Okay, thankfully I didn't, like, uproot the one foraging thing right there. Oh, oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, hey, it didn't do that. 
I guess you can't till the land that's like right next to the fence. That's kind of interesting right there. But yeah, I definitely want to continue uh, tilling all this land up here. And then uh, I don't know, maybe maybe if I get a bunch of wood, I could make uh, fences and stuff with like that. But for right now, I'll just keep it without the fences. And I guess if we get fences, we want to move this uh, stone pathway over just one block. So we're going to think about that. Let's get this all done. And then we'll be able to plant down all the stuff like instantly. You guys did say uh, that fertilizer, like putting fertilizer on like, like, like forged stuff over here doesn't really matter. It doesn't like change the quality or anything like that like it does for everything else. So I guess we'll just plant these things normally so we don't waste any fertilizer on them. Uh, so there you go. And then, yeah, remember, I don't remember if... Oh, wow. I probably should have thought that through a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, I don't remember if... Oh, hey, look at that. We have refined quartz over there. But I don't remember if we had that perk for forging. What was it called again? I don't know if it actually tells me, but... Oh, yeah, gatherer. I don't know if we ever had that perk last time we had a bunch of... Uh, forging seeds so hey maybe we'll get double the forging items out of here now that we have that that perk right there right so that seems pretty good if we want to go get the watering can here in just a bit and then we have a few berries down there we need to go pick you guys there's a lot of stuff going on right now it's insane <laughs> i do want to put up all these mushrooms too so let's do that and i think that's good and then we have a tapper there i guess we can go put that up on something real quick i guess yeah you know what let's put it on that tree right there it's kind of out in the open on its own what's that i guess that's I guess that's working right there. Oh, yeah, and then pet the chickens. So there's that. And then there's the brown one over there. Let's go check them on them. Boom. And they should have food in here, but they're also outside. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, there's mayonnaise right there. And then we got some more eggs. So uh, let's put more eggs there. Do we have eggs in here? No, we just have the mayonnaise. So I'll grab that. And then uh, how, how do you get a mayonnaise machine? How do we get a second one of those? Stone, earth, crystal, copper, bar. We could do that. Yeah, I just need to get more stone. I need to get a pretty decent amount of stone. I don't know if I want to. I kind of want to water my crops first. And I don't know if we want to go visit anyone before they close. What are these? Cranberries. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're getting, what, two or three cranberries per harvest right there? Not bad at all. Yeah, this is going to be, this is, this is starting to get pretty tough here. Trying to see, like, which plant. Oh, yeah, I could just stand in one spot. Which plants we haven't watered yet. I'm going to go and try and do that standing in one spot method that you guys taught me a couple episodes ago. What? Well, that right there, it already has the sprinkler watering a lot of it. So that doesn't really matter right there. But, uh, let's see. This one right here, and then let's water down right here. Yeah, I did get a comment from you guys saying I missed a heckin' spot <laughs> last episode again. Ah, I'm, ne I'm never going to be perfect with it, unfortunately. Ah, but uh, thankfully, we're pretty close to being able to get all these sprinklers that I wanted to get. So uh, let's get all. Oh, whoops! Let's get all these watered here. And then I guess here in just a bit we'll. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I did want to do is because it is a new week, I do want to go check up on that special requests board and actually see if there's anything new on that. There should be because it's a new week, right? And then also, uh, remember at the end of the last episode, we went over to Linus. I don't know if we actually... Yeah, we didn't specifically go over to Linus, but we're in his area. Because uh, we're trying to pick, like, blackberries and stuff like that, right? And he had, like, a cutscene going on. So I kind of want to see, like, what happens when we go over there and actually see what that cutscene is all about, right? So don't know if I watered everything right here. This is what I'm talking about. It's, like, so hard. It's so tough to see if I water everything. That might have been the corn I missed last episode. Okay, yeah, here's a few corn I didn't... There we go. And that one right there. Is that good? That's just the torch there. I think that's good. It's so hard to see because there's everything's like covered up right there. But uh, I think all I have to do now is just water all these foraging things real quick, which uh, never mind. <laughs> I don't even have any water. <laughs> so there we go. OK, let's see. Can I water? Well, I could water above me like this. There we go. Yeah, this is amazing. Being able to water nine slots by just standing in one spot. That's so good. Thank you very much for, for letting me know about that tip. So let's just keep watering everything over here. And I guess uh. I guess I'll see you guys here in just a bit whenever I'm done. I'm pretty much out of energy, exhausted. <laughs> oh, I'm start okay, I'm starting to feel exhausted, so there you go, boom. Okay, everything should be watered now, should. So, let's start using all of our efforts over here to make, like, another mayonnaise machine. Other stuff, go sell some of the stuff. That's what I wanted to do, yeah. Let's go sell the, uh, the stuff to Pierre. So, we have mayonnaise there. I think we have jelly or something over here. Oh, yeah, we have another mayonnaise and then hot jelly there. And wow, we have a lot of cranberries there. I did get a comment, actually, some fr from someone. I don't know why. I just now thought of it though <laughs> but uh someone said to give what was her name leah a driftwood i know we have a lot of driftwood just kind of laying around i guess i'll put that up at least for right now and same thing with the copper just kind of clean up my inventory a little bit the coal yeah we could put that up as well and the shred up quartz and the clay there you go and the torches yeah i definitely want to place those down what was i doing just a second ago oh yeah get driftwood for leah if we come across her if we don't come across her i do know where we could find her but apparently she likes this so either that or she hates it and someone's trying to troll me i don't know it's hard to tell, but uh, I'm trying to look around if there's. Oh yeah, this is probably where the, uh, the torches got removed. Whenever we uh, there you go, made room for the foraging things, so there we go. 
Anyways, uh, I guess we can cut down a couple things over here. What time's Pierre? Pierre closed at like four or five, right? So we have a little bit of time. I guess we can get a little bit of stone over here and yeah. Oh yeah, we're almost out of energy. Well, you know what? Let's go picking for some blackberries above us. Or, or you know what? Let's, let's do it over here. There's probably some blackberries over here. I'm sure those blackberries are going to give us a ton of energy back, you guys. So let's see if there's any blackberry bushes over here. We can start to... Oh, hey, look, there's a, a plum right there. And there's a, a walnut right... Or a hazelnut right there. I did get... Oh, yep. There you go. There's a bush right there. Does that take energy to... I guess it doesn't take energy to uh, to grab those. So that's good. So how good is that? 25 energy. Not bad. I guess we'll do that. I don't know if I want to go to the sauna. That seems like a whole rigmarole that we're going to do. We have five silver starred cranberries right there. That's amazing. What about this red mushroom, though? Oh, do not eat that. That's negative 50 energy. Speaking of, uh, whatever his name's bucket, is that it right there? I remember seeing someone comment, oh yeah, look at all these, uh, bushes for here that we can actually, wow. Look at that, there's more up there too. There you get all those blackberries, yeah, we're gonna have a ton of energy. Is this it? Berry basket, you found the berry basket, better return it to Linus, yes. Thank you very much, whoever commented that last episode. That blended in so much, I would never have thought to even come over to here. Just like the heckin' pants, what was it? Mayor Lewis's purple pants or whatever, which we still need to we still need to befriend uh, Marnie to go into her bedroom and grab those like a bit. This sounds like a whole like demonetizable sentence right there. <laughs> but you guys remember a couple episodes ago. <laughs> oh my gosh, it sounded so wrong. We need to go into Marnie's bedroom and steal her pants that are. <laughs> Jeez, eat the blackberries. Okay, there you go. There's Mayor Lewis, by the way. I'm talking about that in front of him, basically. <laughs> But I do want to go over here. Let's go sell some of the uh, the hot jelly. What's it called? Hot pepper jelly? Something like that. Uh, but let's sell that as well as the mayonnaise. I'm, I'm curious to see how much money we get. Oh, is that Leah? I always get these redheads mixed up. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. It is. Hey, there we go. She liked it. That's good. We weren't trolled right there. Awesome. Thank you very much for letting me know to give her a driftwood. That's actually kind of surprising because isn't driftwood technically classified as trash? That's kind of interesting. Three mayonnaise. Now, is that 570 each or is that 570 for the whole stack? Okay, it's, it's for the whole stack. Okay, so it's 190 a piece. Holy heck, that's good money. 130 for the hot pepper jelly. Not bad. Yeah, the mayonnaise. That's that's good money. Definitely want to make more mayonnaise machines. That's what I'm talking about. You guys amazing there. Red mushroom. I guess if we could sell that. I don't know. I guess I can get a little bit of money out of it. Two gold star hazelnuts for 270. What would that be? 135 each? Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want to keep that. And then black, but we have a lot of, but wow. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, five blackberries for 110. I was about to say, we have five of them for 110 each now. <laughs> I'm mixing myself up over here. And then one just regular egg, we get 50. So spending how, however much time it takes from, you know, in the, in the mayonnaise machine, it gains 140 gold worth of value, which is amazing. Let's check up on this, though, while we're here. Uh, I need a smallmouth bass to power my latest invention. It's the only thing that will work. <laughs> Maru, 150 gold on delivery. Yeah, whenever we have a mission like this, which I don't know if we'll actually be able to do, I guess we'll accept it anyways. But whenever we have a mission like that, we have to get that smallmouth bass from the time we accept the mission, like if after after we accept the mission, not like before. We can't have one like in storage and just kind of use that, right? But uh, hey, Mayor Lewis, what are you doing over here? Some of the townsfolk are wary to strangers, or wary of strangers. You'll have to win their trust before they open up to you. Yeah, that's true. We're starting to get some pretty good relationships with people around here, so that's great. Oh yeah, we have a uh, bullhead for the for the museum. Is there anything else that we have for the museum? Surprised we don't need cranberries for the museum for like a crop bundle. I wonder what crop. Oh yeah, isn't it like corn and like pumpkins and I think. Was it called sweet potato? Maybe something. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we're noticing these blackberries like all over the place, you guys. And speaking of all over the place, they, I got I got comments like multiple comments saying, "Hey, worms right here, worms right there." So I, I have a couple areas. Actually, hold on. Where am I going? I need to go to the fish tank. I have a couple areas kind of memorized right now where we can go get some worms from last episode that we missed out on. So I suppose we'll go uh, check up on that here in just a bit because we're kind of close to where that is. What is this? Uh, what am I? What am I looking for here? Bullhead? That's got to be a lake or a river, right? What is that? Because we got it from up, I think up north, right? Wait, where is this lake? Yep, there it is, right there. Lake. Awesome. Okay, so there you go. Sturgeon, carp, largemouth bass. Do I have gotten? Do I have gotten even the smallmouth bass? We need that for uh, for that over there, right? I think. I'm not 100 sure, but yeah, we need to give this basket back to Linus, and then whenever we, I think whenever we go into his area in general, we'll actually get a cutscene. I think if we go up here, that cutscene will happen. So I kind of want to avoid that. I did actually get a comment from someone saying to uh, north of Jojo Mart, was it this? Yeah, this plank bridge right here to actually fish from this. So I don't know. Uh, I guess we can test it out real quick. I don't know how much time I want to spend here. There we go. Just see what we get. Is there anything special that's going to happen here? I don't know. 
I don't remember if they said, like, specifically at night or during the day or what, because I'm pretty sure you can get different fish during the day compared to night, right? I think there's even a different... Oh, oh! Hey, we got a hit! I think there's even a uh, different fish bundle for specifically for night fish at the uh, community center, so I think that's the case. Anyways, let's try and catch whatever this thing is. It's not a perfect, unfortunately, because we hacked it up right there. What is that? We got a salmon! Hey! Hold on. Didn't we need a salmon for something? Not the community center. Didn't we... Hold on. Delivery... No. Whoops. Well, oh, yeah. We need a blackberry basket. Give that back to Linus. Cow's Delight. A bunch, a bunch of amaranth. Uh, I guess we can go buy some amaranth seeds. Can we get that done for her, right? For Marnie. And hey, yeah, that'll actually help out with her relationship. Let's, let's definitely do that. Don't want to forget about that. Beets. What about the beets? Wasn't that a... Uh, pale ale there. Wasn't that a... Uh, fall thing? I, I think I remember someone commenting saying something about beets being a fall item. Either that or I have to like go to the desert or something like that. I don't know. I, I might have mixed it up right there. But uh, what was I doing just before I heck and forget? Uh, what, what else do I want to do before we go up to Linus and go do his cutscene over there? Uh, I don't know. I guess we can go do his cutscene. I suppose we can. Or, or just pick more heckin' blackberries all over the place, right? Or we can just pick blackberries like anywhere, right? I don't, I don't think we need to be in a specific area. To, oh, yeah. I was like, I was subconsciously coming down here, you guys. This is crazy. I wanted to go check up on this boy right here, too. Okay. Crop order, juicy bugs wanted. So, who is that? Is that Mayor Lewis right there? Crop order? The governor is holding a banquet, and his chefs are ordering a huge number of eggplants. Anyone who ships 100 eggplants by the end of the season will earn a substantial reward from the Pelican Town Agricultural Fund. 21 days to do that. That's a lot of that's a lot of time. Now, how long does an eggplant take? Does it say, like, if I pull up the uh, thing? Does it say how long an eggplant takes to, to grow? Because we have those. We, we just harvested them, and I think they're the type of... Uh, wait, hold on. Where would it be on this? Items shipped. I don't know if we've sold any eggplants specifically. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. But yeah, you guys know. We have, we have eggplants back home. Uh, they're, they're growing, and we just have to wait like a couple days or something like that. Every now and then, or every couple days, we'll be able to harvest more eggplants. So, hundred that's a lot of eggplants, though. 100 eggplants. I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but that's for the whole entire month compared to whoever this is. Is this Willy? I think that's Willy. Juicy bugs wanted. Hey there, I'm looking for a big wad of bug guts. The juicier, the better. At least that's what the crabs seem to like. A hundred pieces of bug, bug guts, bug meat, I assume? For the next seven days? I, I can't, I feel like that's a lot more doable. I feel like that's a lot more doable, especially if we go back to the, to the mine. And I, th we might actually have a lot of like, just bug meat just ready to, whoops. Bug meat just ready to go like right now. We might not need to actually go to the mine. I kind of want to go check though, but oh my gosh. I'm noticing these blackberry bushes all over the place now. <laughs> They're absolutely everywhere and we're getting tons of blackberries. This is amazing. Kind of want to go back to the farm though, uh, real quick, just to see like how much bug meat, bug meat do I have. And if we have uh, a pretty good amount, like a hundred or something like that. Oh, does it keep track of here, by the way? Collect a bunch of, oh, it must be just like the other mission where you have to get the bug meat from now until then. So that means we have a whole entire week to get a hundred bug meat, which Means a lot of time in the mines. I think we already uh, foraged up there, so don't want to spend too much time up there, right? Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, I keep forgetting. I, I keep pausing just because I don't want a bunch of time to pass. But the plums, I guess we'll put that up over here. So there we go. And then hazelnut, blackberry. Kind of want to keep those. At least keep those in my inventory. And then that's gold star, so I'll put that up uh, over here. Was uh, something smelting over here? I thought something was smelting. Guess not. Let's go put the uh, stuff up where they need to go so we don't lose everything, right? And then, uh... Oh, yeah, weren't we? We're trying to make a heckin' mayonnaise machine, weren't we? How do you make that again? 15 stone, copper bar, earth crystal. I think we have that, and we have the wood. I guess we can get that, because we have that egg right there. I guess we can get that, so that'd be 15 stone, and then one earth crystal, one copper bar. I think we have both of those. Earth crystal, yep, and then copper bar, boom. And then how much stone? We have four right now, not bad. And then coal, I guess we could put that up. And I guess that's it, okay. Well, let's put up the gold star stuff over here before I can forget. So there we go. Berry basket and then uh, sap. I guess we could put that up as well. Then we'll be good to go, I guess, huh? We'll get another mayonnaise machine. We'll put that up inside the chicken coop. And then any eggs that we get, we're going to get 190 gold out of them. I don't even know if it does it take a whole day to do that. I don't think so. And uh, I guess we'll mine all this over here. So we have, what, four or five stone right now. We're going to get to, I think, 15. So we need to just get... Thankfully, we can just break this, like, one hit. And then, boom, it's broken. So, yeah, we're, we're able to... Get, and, hey... It's, it's kind of doing two things at once. It's kind of cleaning out the area of here, which is definitely something that I wanted to do anyways. I think we just need one more stone, so, uh, boom. Oh, I got a frozen geode? What in the world are the odds? Holy heck. Okay, well, it's too late to go over to the black... Oh, wait, oh. 
Yeah, that's a community center thing. Where would that be? Where would that be? Field re- Oh, yeah, field research. Chubb and the Nautilus shell. Ooh, okay, so we need to do field research for Demetrius and then give him the, uh, the, the frozen geode. But we have enough stuff now. We can get another, uh, there we go, mayonnaise machine. Perfect. And we have an egg already in our inventory. So let's go back inside the chicken coop. I assume the chickens are in there. Are they smart enough to, yep, they are. And hey, mayonnaise is done. Yeah, the mayonnaise finishes a lot faster, it seems. Then, and I think we have an extra egg in here, right? Oh, we don't. Ooh, what happened to the other egg? Did I put that up somewhere? But uh, that's good to know that the mayonnaise machine finishes faster than the preserves machine right there, or whatever it's called, right? Did I put it up over here randomly? I feel like I put eggs up over here for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll put up the other uh, mayonnaise over here. We'll, we'll, we'll sell it overnight. And then salmon, I guess we'll sell that. Like, what else am I going to do with that, right? So there you go. And then stone. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 8.40 at night. Hopefully Linus still accepts, like, his, his cutscene still happens. It might be a little bit too late. It might be like, oh... You have to go specifically to this spot between 8 a.m. and like 3 p.m. or something like that, right? So it might be a little bit too late. And we might have to wait until tomorrow or at least, you know, tomorrow in game to do that. But for right now, I guess we'll just pick through all the heckin' bushes and stuff up here. Oh, yeah. How do you make that was recycling? That was another thing we're trying to make. And it, it was relatively cheap, right? Like if Linus isn't going to be able to do that mission for us, I guess we could try and make that. Oh, yeah. It must be too late. Well, I guess if anything, where, where is he going to be? Is he outside or is he in his tent right now? I don't know. Uh, let's see. No, he's not in here. But we do have his basket, so we definitely want to return that to him. See uh, see if we get anything good from him. There's more blackberries there. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled. I think somewhere... It's so hard to see. I think right there were some worms last episode. So let's see. Did that work? Ah, uh, they must not be there now. They must have, like, gone away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the worms. Yeah, you guys said the worms expire. They reset on uh, every week, and it's because it's Monday right now. It's another week, and, yeah, the worms thing doesn't really matter right now, huh? Man, that kind of sucks. Now, where's Linus? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, it's a bastion there randomly. So it's the big harvest season, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, Let's see. What would he like? I don't know. I don't want to give him the frozen geode. Blackberry? Like, who doesn't like blackberries, right? Where is he? There he is. I'm in his way. Thanks. Oh, did he like that? He said, th he said dot, 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 thanks, but... Uh, oh, hey, look at that lion's two hearts right there. That's actually kind of good. Where's Sebastian at? There he is right there. Did he like that? Uh, no, he was just... I guess he did, because it says normal, so I guess he's kind of neutral about it. So, hey, that's good. We're going to get a ton of uh, blackberries during the fall season over here. Just picking a bunch of heck of berries. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've seen before Linus hangs out near the train tracks. I was about to check the mine. I don't know if he actually hangs out in there, but... Uh, I guess we'll go over here to the train tracks area, or to the train station area. See if he's hanging out up there. And if he is, let's give him his basket. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, blackberries right there. I missed out. Yep, there he is right there. Perfect. More blackberries right here, too. <laughs> so here you go. Hey, Linus, your basket. My basket. Thank you. This means a lot to me. Eh, no problem. And I just picked those bushes for berries right there. So even though you have your berry picking basket back, you can't get those berries because <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll give him a, give him a berry, too. This is a great gift. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Did he? He said it was a great gift. Is that better than normal, though? Oh, wow. He's wow. He ju you just saw him just a second ago. He has two hearts jumped up to four hearts right there. Amazing. And he liked it, too. Wow. Linus. Well, he hated the snail I randomly gave him. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't blame you there, Linus. I'd be kind of confused if someone just walked up to me and gave me a snail. I don't blame you. Uh, hey, another berry bush right there. I guess we'll get that. Uh, now, was there something else I was going to do? Uh, I forget. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, is this the Linus? Wait, what is this? Oh, hey, he's happy with us. Waffle, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. Oh, no problem. Give me some warmth from that. It's cold out here. I guess this is like a friendship event right here for getting four hearts from him. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. I'm like, we just talked to each other just like five seconds ago. I give you a berry basket, but whatever. <laughs> oh, he's thirsty. Is that what that was? He had a little droplet above his head. I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Eh, no problem, Linus. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. Nah. Yeah, some people are, are bad people, so it's, it's, it's always good to be cautious and be on the safe side, right? But uh, hey, you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. Well, that's good. And I consider you a good friend. That's awesome. This is a cool little event. And I, I smiled right there, too. Little cat face or whatever. This is a cool little event. I like this. Hey, I wanted to show you something. Come inside. 
All right, let's go inside his tent, see if he has something cool to show us or give to us. Who knows? I guess we'll see. Oh, what happened? Is he killing me? Sounds like he's stabbing me right now. What? Ah, there you go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. Okay, I was about to say, like, is he literally, like, murdering me right now? <laughs> like, it kind of sounds like you've you got to admit that, like, sound effect sound like he was, like, stabbing a knife into me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm the one that needs to be more <laughs> Oh, uh, there you go. The tables have turned. Oh, uh, there you go. See this? Oh, yeah, I already read that. Golly. It's the top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. Here, I want you to have the recipe. Oh, he just gave us recipe for uh, fiber seeds, and now he's giving us recipe for, like, a really good bait. Wild bait. Okay, so how good is that? Because right now we're just making regular bait out of, what, fish meat or uh, bug meat or something like that? How do you make that? That's pretty good. Hold on. And I wonder how, uh, do the different baits just... Give you bigger fish or, or what? Five bug meat, ten five. Five slime though. That's going to be kind of tough. But we get five of them per craft, just like the bait or the bug meat right there. So essentially one slime, one bug meat, and then two fiber gives you one bait there. So mm, not bad. I guess I have to go home and see how much we actually have like in storage. Uh, but yeah, that was a pretty cool little event. Oh. Yeah, I'm at the top of the screen right there. I forgot. That was a cool little event right there. So I guess that's what happens whenever you have four hearts with Linus. I guess we'll have to wait until tomorrow, pr probably during the day or something like that. We'll see him like like waiting in the water over there. And uh, that'll be like the two star heart event or maybe the uh, the event that happens after you do the community cleanup mission. Right. Uh, something I was trying to say just a minute ago was uh, I guess we'll go over here to do that. I mean, you know, what? let's go down here. Uh, you guys said, I don't know, I don't even know if I mentioned this until now. <laughs> but you guys said to, uh, if I want to get fiber and stuff like that, uh, I do want to go out here and actually, like, uh, like, break the tall grass, break the weeds, whatever over here with the scythe, and actually get the, uh, the fiber from over here. As well as if I clean them out over here and clean out the rocks, clean out the tall grass, clean out whatever else, we'll actually have a higher likelihood of, why am I not seeing anything here? <laughs> we'll have a higher likelihood of, uh, getting foraging items, but I am literally not seeing anything over here, you guys. What in the world? Okay, well, it's 12.50 right now. We need to head home, like, yesterday. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's midnight, so it's technically the next day, right? But let's just go home. I guess maybe tomorrow. Oh, yeah, right here. We could do it right here, right? Oh, wait, no. Wait, where's tall grass out here? Oh, yeah, there's tall grass south of our farm. Yeah, I know that, yeah. Okay, I guess we can go do it over there. But, uh, oh, wow, look at how bright our farm is. This is amazing. I hope it's rain tomorrow, so I'll have to water all the crops again. But I guess that's just what happens whenever you're a farmer, right? Oh, whoops. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to do. It's going to be clouded with gusts of wind throughout the day tomorrow. Okay. Living off the land. Almost missed that. What's this? Blackberry season. Bushes across the countryside are overflowing with ripe fruit. Just go outside and see for yourself. Okay. Well, uh, we already knew that. Thanks to Linus. Our friend, our good friend, Linus, telling us that in a letter. Anyways, let's go to sleep for the night. We're selling some stuff overnight, so we're hopefully going to get some good money, right? Yeah, 190 for that mayonnaise, sea urchin, and literally, okay, just the sea urchin. Gave us 160. Sea cucumber, silver star. Only gave us 93. I thought that was a lot more special than that, but I guess not. Albacore, that's 75 each, and the Sam is also 75, right? 75 right there. Oh, UFO! Oh my gosh! Is that like an Easter egg? Does that happen often? I feel like I've never seen that until now. Literally a UFO going across the screen right there. And a shooting star. I don't know if you guys saw a shooting star right there. That was kind of cool. And it was $668 overnight. Not, not bad. Not too terrible, but I like I wasn't really trying to sell a bunch of stuff to try and get a lot of money anyways, right? So, anyways. <sighs> it's the next day. $3,497. Let's see what the uh, the weather report is for tomorrow. Beautiful and sunny day. Okay, I guess I have to water everything today and tomorrow. And then the fortune today is... They're very happy. Hey, they're going to be showering everyone with good fortune. Awesome. Speaking of such, I guess we'll go over to uh, the blacksmith and actually uh, give him the frozen geode. Definitely want to do that. Uh, is there anything that I want to actually smelt, though? While I'm watering my crops. Remember, that was a thing that we tried to do. And I completely forgot about it. <laughs> is uh, watering the crops and stuff. While, uh, oh, I guess if anything, we can get more refined quartz. That's that's something we could do. You know, getting things smelting while we're watering the crops. Just kind of, you know, two birds with one stone sort of thing, right? So there you go, there you go. Hold on. While that's happening as well. Oh, I didn't check up on the cave list yesterday, did I? Man, the mushroom cave? Is there two, uh... Let's get that mayonnaise. Is there, where's the other chicken at? Hold on. Is that chicken? Wait. Oh, there it is right there. Did it lay an egg somewhere? I don't know. It didn't lay an egg in there. I don't know if they could lay eggs like outside. I feel like they could only lay eggs inside the coop itself. But I only saw one egg right there, so I kind of feel like we're missing out, you guys. Oh, wait, no, there's an egg like in front of us. No, do not. Do not eat the egg. There you go. Okay. 
and then there's the brown egg right there. Okay, yeah, it was on the ground, like, in front of the heckin' mayonnaise machine, so that's why I didn't see anything right there, right? So, either way, uh, let's continue grabbing... Oh, no, never mind, the hopper's empty, okay. Well, either way, the mayonnaise is going, the refined quartz is going over there, so... Oh, and the dog is sleeping. <laughs> After a rough day of doing nothing... A rough day? Because he's a dog? <laughs> uh, cut that out of the video. Anyways, <laughs> let's go water all the crops and whatever else, right? Kind of get that done, get that busy work done, uh... Is there anything? Oh, there's one eggplant. Hey, I don't know if the corn was ready yesterday, actually. There's corn right here that's ready. And here, here, this row right here, basically. Yeah. And then here, I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything else that's ready, but yeah. There's no way we can get, what was it, 100 eggplants? Oh, and hey, look at that refined quartz. Refined quartz is done. There's no way we can get that 100 eggplants done uh, before the end of the month. Because, like, how many did I get right there? I got one silver star, but I think I'd rather get the money. Oh, well, we have 13, but yeah. You're supposed to, it's supposed to start from the time you actually get the mission, so any eggplants I have now wouldn't count, right? Either way, Waffle, how are you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes. Linus! Hey, he's giving us a lot of recipes lately, you guys. This is really cool. He's, he's, he's turning out to be a great friend. Sashimi, so we're going to get some pretty delicious, literally just raw fish and, and no rice or anything like that. I've never had sashimi. I've only ever had sushi, which is pretty good, but expensive. I don't know if sashimi is any better than that. Let me know if you guys uh, like sashimi or sushi and which one you guys like more, if so. Either way, uh, we have another thing over here. <laughs> Dear Waffle, one week from today, we're holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. Ah, nice little rhyme right there. Oh, nice little rhyme right there as well. <laughs> it's the biggest event of the year, drawing people from across the country to our humble town. If you'd like, you can set up a garage display for the event. Ooh. If you'd like, or a grand display for the event. Just bring up to nine items for that best showcase of your talent. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. Okay, so this is probably where those those gold star items are going to come into play. Maybe get some gold star fish, gold star plants, gold star foraging items. I don't know if there's anything else like scooting like can be gold star and whatnot. I, I guess we can mix in some silver star as well. Not everything has to be gold star, right? But nine of them, that's a lot of them. Uh, where am I on this one? You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9 a.m. Don't miss it. Mayor Lewis. Okay, cool. So a week from today, so that's next Tuesday, the 16th. Interesting. And that's, okay, that's all the mail right there. Okay. Sell the mayonnaise. There you go. And then keep everything else, I guess, right? And speaking of such, I do want to go put up the, uh, the Silver Star corn and whatever else, right? Just so we could actually, uh, and then while we're over here. Wow, yeah, look at all the gold stars. Oh, yeah, that's where I put the egg. But yeah, gold star hazelnuts there. Gold star cranberry plum. Hot pepper, like, we have more than nine, like, gold star over eggplants, we have that too. We don't even need to use any of that silver star stuff, so that's pretty heckin' good, you guys. Amazing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, is there anything else here? I think, I think we're good to go. Let's go put up the refined quartz, and I guess we could put up all but, I guess we'll put up five there. I th is it five? No, I think it's just one quartz, right? I think you just use one quartz with the, the furnace to get refined quartz, right? Because I'm pretty sure I had, like, 17 quarts and I had 15 right there. That must be the case, huh? I know, let's put up the stone as well. And then a uh, frozen geode. Let's not forget about that. Definitely want to go to the blacksmith. I think he's open right now, but like I said, I do have a lot of watering ahead of me. All right, guys, I'm back. Just water all the crops. Got done watering all the crops. I want to go, yep. Wanted to go check up on the mayonnaise, and boom, they are ready to go. I guess we get the egg. Uh, and then put it up right there. I know it's Silver Star. Uh, but it's not that big of a deal. That'd be really cool, though, if you had a Silver Star egg and put it in the mayonnaise machine and you get Silver Star mayonnaise. That'd be really, really good. And I'm going to get this out of the way. I don't know if you guys noticed how long that wood's been there, but uh, let's get that out of the way. So now let's go over to uh, the blacksmith, Clint. Let's go check up on him, see if he'll give us the, uh, anything good out of this frozen tier or frozen geode that we have right now. Is there any uh, foraging crops? I am not seeing any right now, unfortunately. So, yeah, let, let's just go over to Clint. I don't know if there's anything else that we need to worry about. Oh, yeah, there's that uh, event. For, uh, oh, hey, yep, there's Abigail. Let's give her a, bla a blackberry. There you go. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with this blackberry? You don't know. Who oh my gosh, some people. <laughs> you don't know what to do with a blackberry. You don't know how to eat. Golly. Uh, anyways, what about you, Evelyn? Do you like this? How nice. Thank you, dear. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to do voices and stuff for people. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. But uh, let's keep going over here. There's another speaking of such, boom. No, don't eat it. Another blackberry thing right here. Boom, awesome. Uh, let's keep going this way. Like, I don't know, we can go check him on uh, whatever his name is. Linus, we can go do his little event. And then while we're in the area over there, I guess we can go to the mines and try and get a little bit of bug meat going on over there. Oh yeah, we have good luck today too. Nope, didn't get anything right there. 
<laughs> I do also want to try and get that recycling machine, too. Uh, so anyways, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah, I have a... Uh, oh, do I want to buy a gold ore? We need that for the sprinkler. Do I want to spend 400? I don't know. Uh, but I do want to give him a geode. So there you go. 25 right there to process that. And we get five. Okay, whatever. Five stone. <laughs> uh, upgrading tools now. What do I need? Uh, five bar bar. And then $5,000. Golly. And then you get 15% uh, of the value back for upgrading the trip. Tri I don't know. Like, what? Can I just, like, not use it while that's kind of being upgraded? Mm, I'm like, how often do I use the trash can? I don't know if I want to do that right now. But I guess we'll go up north to Linus to see what's going on up there. See if he has any special uh, stuff going. Hey, look at that. There's Leah. Let's give you a Blackberry as well. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Hey, at least some people appreciate my gifts, right? <laughs> oh, hey, there's a Blackberry just right there as I'm pickaxing the ground for no reason. <laughs> I want to go on the trash can too, yeah. I'm like, it is a good, like, really good luck today. I don't know if... Is it good or really good? I don't know if there's a difference there. But I do want to... Uh, you know, go through all the trash cans, see if we can get anything good. And I know there's like three or four trash cans like right here. So, uh, yep. Nothing. Like we have good luck, but we're not getting, oh, baked fish. Someone threw out some, literally some perfectly good baked fish right there. What? <laughs> all right. Well, at least I'm getting some blackberries there and nothing there. Okay. Whatever. At least we got some baked fish. How good is that? What is that? 75 energy and 33 health. That's actually pretty good. I might want to take that right now, honestly. Like if I'm about to go to the mines, might want to take it like right now. And blackberries right there. Like, there's foraging stuff all over there. There's probably like worms I'm walking over to, and I'm not even noticing. Look at the birds! And they're flying away. You know, there are worms, like, right over here as well, I think, if I remember correctly. From last episode's comments, but... Can't find them now, because they got reset, right? But, let's go up here. Is there a lion's event? Oh, yep! Yeah, here it is! Here it is! Okay, perfect. You had to come here during the day. But he's over there swimming... Praying in the water or something? I don't know. Ah, oh, that feels good. Yeah, he's got his hands clasped together. Against that little, little bridge right there. The water's never been cleaner. Yeah, thanks to me. Cleaning up for the uh, community cleanup last episode. Or two episodes ago, whatever that was. And the same goes for me. <laughs> yeah, who knows how long it's been since he's last taken a bath. Well, he can go to the community center, right? Or, uh, to the spa, right? Oh, wait, was that it? Was there nothing else? I'm not gonna, like, walk up and, like, offer to rub his back or anything like that? Scratch his back, he scratches my back? I guess not. Oh, hey, there's Sebastian again. He liked blackberries, so, uh... He, oh, I'm like, yeah, I make... Oh, wait, whoops. That's not that bad that I accidentally did that. <laughs> Thanks. But it, it does make sense that he likes blackberries, because he's dressed in all black, got black hair there, so, hey, that's a pretty... I don't know if that's actually why he likes blackberries, but that's a pretty cool little bit of detail there, but I did see, yep, this is... Oh, jeez, the blackberry almost went straight into the ocean. <laughs> And then, yeah, we can give uh, Elias another blackberry today. He loves blackberries. He likes any type of foraging item, apparently. I, I do remember reading a comment about that. Oh, I've already given him two gifts? Did the, uh... I don't know if the basket counted as a gift, technically, because it was for a quest. I hope not, but... Well, anyways, we got a really good, uh... Oh, yeah, we have... Oh, yeah, I could have given the frozen... Ah, uh, yeah, we could have either given the frozen geo to Demetrius's community center thing, or got it processed, but... Ah, uh, hindsight 2020, right? Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. Hmm. I'm like, I'm like, they're all over the place or not. Oh, she, uh, it wouldn't hurt to eat another one. I'm like, we got 42 of them, right? Golly. <laughs> I have a ton of them. Oh, yeah. Here's our chest, too. So, uh, you know what? Let's put these in here. I'm like, it's not anything, but I'm like, at least we get a little bit of inventory space back. But I think starting at level 20, was it? Or was it level 10? I guess we could... Oh, yeah. I wasn't this. Well, let's go to level 20. It might have been this. This might have been when they started, like, having but Oh, wait, what in, the what in the world? I don't remember this. It was, like, giant slime. I don't have to kill all of them, too. Yeah, I need to, I really need to get a bit. Wow, I got the three-way collateral right there. What? A triple collateral with that one swipe of the heckin' bug head. Oh, man, I got slowed right there. Kill, kill, kill. And the way down has magically appeared. Oh, wait. Oh, perfect. Kill these guys. Awesome. Got bug meat right there. Only got one bug meat, though. So let's go down. Let's see. Are there going to be any, uh... Any more bugs? I'm like, I'm specifically down here to find the bugs and get bug meat from the Hey, stone. I'm like, I'm not going to complain about that. Then, of course, copper. Not going to complain about that either. But uh, if we can get one of those bug events where a bunch of them just, like, start swarming me and all I have to do is just kind of, like, leave. I think that's all you really have to do, right? Uh, then I'm going to purposely stay on that level and try and kill as many of them as I can. I'm like, it's 6 p.m. right now, so we have plenty of time to kill as many of them as possible. But I hope I'm at the right level. I, I think it was the jungle themed level, wasn't it? That we had to kill a bunch of- Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. And boom! 
Boom. Yeah, if we go a little bit deeper to what was it like the ice or whatever layer or whatever, whatever the dark layer was like starting at level 40. Yeah, that it has bats instead of these like flying bugs. And I'm not finding like any uh, anymore, but they're, they're not swarmy quite as often as they did that one time. There's like no green mist or anything like that. Maybe that maybe that only. Oh, hey, perfect. Maybe that only kicks in. Wow, a lot of copper. Maybe that only kicks in at like level 35 or something like that. I don't know. But wow, look at this. This is amazing. There's a flying bug right there. That's just a one hit murder right there. So definitely want to go kill that thing. And there you go, getting some copper. And of course, that's going to be amazing. Oh, I didn't check up on the copper or uh, on the tree taps that we made. I don't know if we got anything out of that. Hey, we have the little diglet guy right here. Boom, slaughter. Oh, wait, no, he's still alive. Uh, there you go. Not for long. Uh, there you go, got him. Oh, we got a geode out. Oh, wait, no, wait, what? He's still alive. Oh, that must have been a second one then. Okay. Let's break this. Can I break that? Yeah, see, I can break these big ones, but I just can't break the big, like, oh, yeah, and then we get a bunch of stone from that. Perfect. But yeah, you can break the big ones here, but you can't break the big gray ones. There's another big bug meat right there. Yeah, you're only getting one bug meat from each one of those guys, which is all right. We get a hundred of them and uh, we only have two. What? Man, that is like nothing. Oh, we had way better progress than that, but I guess not. Nah, golly. I guess we'll have to break uh, some of these here. Try and find a way down or something. And bugs are just not swarming me like at all. It's level 23 right now. Maybe at level 25, like I said. Uh, they're actually going to start showing up and swarming and whatnot, right? But uh, just break these. At least, if anything, we're getting a lot of stone. Oh, energy's getting pretty low again. Let's let's get the baked fish. There you go. And we're getting a little bit of health back as well, right? 16 health. I think we get like 20, 25, 30 or something like that. But, uh, oh, perfect. Way down. But because I was relatively full right there, it didn't heal me up all. Or, uh, it healed me up before it used up all that. But, uh, I am not seeing. Oh, yeah. If anything, there's quartz right there. So I guess I'll grab that. And there's more, uh, copper. I am liking this calming music that's going on right now. Super cool. But I am not liking how I'm not being swarmed by these bugs. Where are they? I must be either above or below where I need to go. I guess I'll just skip to, here we go, level 25. Are they gonna start swarming me now? I don't know, I might have to go to like level 30 or something. Isn't there an elevator here or is that only on? Yeah, there's the elevator right there. I could use that right now if I wanted to, but yeah, I'm not finding like any bugs. I'm getting slowed by that guy. Oh, speaking of such, hold on. They're, they're maggots right here, though. That's good. That's actually good. I'm actually very glad that I found these disgusting maggots. And slice, dice, murder, kill. There you go. Only one bug meat right there. It's not even a guaranteed drop, it seems. Man. Uh, there you go. Yeah, see, look at that. I didn't get anything right there. I only have three bug meat. Let's check that thing right here. Oh, wait. Whoops. Juicy bugs one. Yeah, we got like three right there. And then we have to put the barrel... Place the bug meat in the barrel next to Willy's. Okay, so that's what that's that's how we do that. I wonder if I could do that with the 40 or so bug meat that I already have at home. Or if it has to be the fresh bug meat. It might have to be. And hey, Earth Crystal right at the bat. Not going to complain about that. I don't know. I might have to. I might. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's flying bugs over there. And maggots. Okay. Cool. Or whatever those are. Small maggot. Well, we already have that, right? So, oh, oh, here we go. Here's the swarming event. Perfect. All right, let's kill these guys. They're all lined up. Try and get some... Oh, wait, one. Oh, that's the way down that spawned in right there. Okay. We actually found... Oh, there's two ways down. What in the world? Right, there you go. Then I'm going to watch out. Make sure I don't die. A dwarf scroll one. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to look at that. Hold on. Then you guys say I need, like, a spe specific amount of dwarf scrolls in order to actually talk to that dwarf guy. Like, be able to translate his ancient alien language to, like, English or whatever. I guess so. Hey, look at that. We're getting a lot. We're at 13 right now. That's good. We're making great progress right there. And look, there you go. get some energy back, get a little bit of healing back, and slice and dice. Ah, oh, man, the mist of it ended. Ah, oh, man. Well, if anything, at least we got a lot of bug meat right there, like 11, like just on this layer alone. So that's really good progress. Unfortunately, it's nine or 11 a. Oh, God, or not a. God, late. <laughs> 11 p.m. So, oh, and, there you go. And, Oh, nice bug meat right there. Yeah, I don't know if these guys can, like, drop double bug meat. That'd be amazing if so, but I haven't seen it yet. Especially because we've seen them literally, at times, drop no bug meat at all. So, uh, that kind of sucks. 1210 right now. I I, I kind of want to just leave. So, let's do this, and then we'll use the ladder right here to just straight up leave. What is this, level 27? Yeah, not that big of a deal. Let's leave the mine. And then, uh, I guess we'll go here. Mm, I'm like, my, my inventory's got a lot of room right now. Artifact, Gunther, Gunther could tell. Okay, so we have to go give, this, give it that to a Gunther. So, uh, I don't know if that actually does help out with translating or something. Maybe I'm remembering something else. Maybe, I don't know. Either way, golly, there's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Either way, it's the uh, the end of this day here. 
and very close to the end of this episode as well, so let's just go home. I guess we'll go check on the tree tap. We might have enough time to make another one. Nah, I don't think we'll have enough time. It's 12.50 already. There's a hazelnut right there, though, so that's good. Grab that. I can barely see that. There you go. Yeah, it's getting late. I'm just, I have disease above my head and whatnot, right? And I do not say anything else. I'm so glad that someone commented saying that the basket was, like, right there. Man, that's super helpful. Did I get the mushrooms today? I think I did. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, I'm just making sure. Let's go check on that tree tap that's, like, right here. Is there anything in there, or do I have to wait a little while? Oh, uh, yeah, nothing's, nothing's happening right there. Oh, hey! Uh, we have... Blueberry jelly. Ooh, that's kind of weird because the jar is red there, but uh, whatever. Let's get, uh, what do we, what do we just get? We got cranberries. So, you know what? Let's get cranberry jelly next. Or jam or, or whatever it's going to make. Let's see. I'm more of a jam person myself. I like the extra texture of the seeds and other stuff. Uh, I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan of just the smooth, just same thing with peanut butter. I like, oh, whoops. I like the, uh, the peanut butter that's crunchy. That has like little, 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 little bits of peanuts still in there. Not, it's not completely crushed up and ground up, right? Uh, is there anything else I want to do here before I go back? Oh, yeah, hold on. I have to go. No! Man! Nah, I didn't have my... I, I literally fell asleep. That's the most embarrassing thing in the game. <laughs> Falling asleep right at your own front door. Golly. <laughs> 7 to $20 from the two mayonnaise and the one... Uh, or three mayonnaise and the one blueberry jelly. Not bad. All right. Well, hopefully we didn't take too big of a money... Pa uh, don't, don't you... If you fall asleep in your... I think you just get an energy penalty, right? I don't think we lost any money right there. Yeah, our money went up right there, I think. And I'm with the head with the sleep holding the rock above my head, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, we got 35 stone right there, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know what we need for that recycling machine. We could actually make it right now. But uh, unfortunately, whatever I make right now won't save until next episode. So we'll have to make this at the uh, beginning of next episode. But we do have enough stone. We do have enough wood. We do have the iron that we need as well. So let's definitely uh, get that done. And then uh, we also want to keep the dwarf scroll. Keep that in our inventory. We'll be able to use that. And then, yeah. Uh, let's keep the 15 bug meat right there. Go give that to, uh, Willy. Put that in the barrel next to his house or whatever, right? Why do I have the anchovy there? Didn't I want to sell that? I don't know. Why do I have that? I feel like someone would, someone wanted that a while ago, but I don't know who. Hmm. Anyways, put that up. And actually, you know what? Any, everything that I'm doing right now doesn't matter because the game only saves one of you sleep, unfortunately. <laughs> we do have a mail. I guess we could read that real quick. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. This is just being built. Oh, wait, what? You do lose money. I thought you just got a, an energy, like, thing. Or maybe you only lose energy, because, yeah, I'm half energy right now. <laughs> maybe you only lose energy whenever you fall asleep inside your heckin' house. Which is super embarrassing. Last night a Joja team member found you incapacitated. A medical team has been dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad that you're okay. You've been billed 347 gold for this service. Morris, the Joja customer satisfaction representative. <sighs> well, anyways, oh, hey, a lot of foraging things over here got done. A few hazelnuts, some mushrooms, and a blackberry, and uh, plums right there. Awesome. But we're going to have to worry about that next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Still nothing in the tree tap right there. I don't know how long that takes. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. <laughs>